Here's a question that is provided in Alex, or it's very similar to a question provided in Alex. And the question asks you what the mass of one mole of raindrops is and how many moles of raindrops are in the Pacific Ocean, given that the Pacific Ocean has that mass, 1.08 times 10 to the 20th kilograms, and that a raindrop has a mass of 55 milligrams. Uh, Alex specifies that it wants the mass of one mole of raindrops in grams. So we're going to use um, just multiplying by the mole number times the mass of the raindrop. That'll give us the mass of a mole of raindrops. And then we're going to have to convert from milligrams to grams. That would give me the mass of a mole of raindrops, but I want to have it in grams, so one milligram uh, is equal to one thousandth of a kilogram, or sorry, of a, of a gram. So that means that one gram is equal to thousands milligrams. So I have milligrams right now, and I want to get the units in grams. So am I going to put milligrams in the top or milligrams in the bottom? Right. I put it on the bottom. I want to get rid of it, so I'll cancel out. It's a thousand. Do, do, do. And on top, I'm going to put one gram. So the units work out. And milligrams are gone forever. And I'm left with just grams. So for... Okay, so that's that's the mass you get, 3.31 times 10 to the 22nd. And if that's the mass, notice it is bigger than the mass of the Pacific Ocean. So that means that if we divide this by the mass of the Pacific, uh, Pacific Ocean, we should get the... Actually, the other way around. If we divide the Pacific Ocean mass by the mass that we got, that will tell us how many moles of raindrops are in the Pacific Ocean. I expect there to be... Um, Actually, it's going to be pretty close. So right now, this is in grams, right? We uh, did these units. They're in grams. And we want to get this in kilograms, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we get from grams to kilograms? It's going to be kilogram to grams. So it's going to be um, 10 to the third over 1. 10 to the third kilos. Okay. So. You want the grams on the bottom, so it's like okay. Grams. So that's a thousand grams on the bottom, and one kilogram on the top. Mm -hmm. So grams cancel, and I'm left with kilograms, right? So I have to divide by a thousand again. That's the idea. Okay. So if I go back to my calculation and I divide that by a thousand, I end up getting three point three times 10 to the 19. So if I divide the Pacific Ocean mass by that mass, it'll tell me how many moles fit in the Pacific Ocean by mass. So 1.08 times 10 to the 20th. I divide that by what we just calculated. So apparently 3 moles or 3.26 moles of Pacific or of a raindrop fits in the Pacific Ocean. Um, kind of a weird question, but kind of weird. Numbers.